You are now approaching Chinese airmen. Although China currently ranks third as the world's most potent military force, they've continually showcased that underestimating them would be a mistake. Their ongoing mission to develop a world-class military stands testament to this fact. Surprisingly, when it comes to scientific breakthroughs and defense research, a 2023 report from the Australian Strategic Policy Institute reveals that China now outpaces both the United States and other Western democracies. A prime example of China's prowess is its formidable air force. Let's delve into this together. The Chinese Armed Forces, widely known as the People's Liberation Army, or internationally as PLA, is a force to be reckoned with. The PLA encompasses five main branches, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Rocket Force, and Strategic Support Force. Speaking of the People's Liberation Army Air Force, or PLADAF, it boasts a massive force of 400,000 personnel out of a total military strength of 3,135,000 individuals. They operate with a substantial backing, drawing from a total military budget of 230 billion US dollars. The variety of their fleet is both impressive and diverse. According to the Global Firepower website, the PLAF's fleet consists of a whopping 3,166 units. This includes 1,199 fighter jets, 371 attack aircraft, 913 helicopters, 288 transport aircraft, 397 trainers, 112 special mission aircraft, 281 attack helicopters, and a tanker fleet of four aircraft. When it comes to standard equipment, the PLADAF is equipped with an assortment of fighter jets, bombers, reconnaissance and electronic warfare aircraft, multiple helicopter types, diverse air defense equipment, transport aircraft, and vital training equipment such as flight simulators and ground training facilities. Their ammunition arsenal is divided into missiles and bombs. Starting with missiles, they have short-range cruise missiles like the C-801, C-802, C-602, and Silkworm. They possess hypersonic missiles like CJ-10, C-101, C-301, C-803, C-805, KD-88, and YJ-91. Long-range subsonic missiles include the DH-10, and mid-range subsonic has the KD-63. They have radar-guided ground-to-air missiles such as the HQ-9 and KS-1. For air-to-air, -air, they have a developed version of Russia's Kaliningrad K-5 named PL-1, which has been further advanced into PL-12 and TY-90 versions. Their Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles roster features the Dongfeng series like DF-4, DF-5, DF-31, and submarine-based ballistic missiles like JL-1 and JL-2. Additionally, China boasts the Thunderstone Precision Guided Bomb, a guided missile system designed to minimize unintended damage. Switching gears to their aircraft, China has an extensive fleet, but of particular note is their nuclear weaponry. They have several types of thermonuclear or hydrogen bombs, which are advanced nuclear weapons. These bombs utilize nuclear fusion reactions to release immense energy, earning them the title of Weapons of Mass Destruction. Prominent among their fleet is the Xi'an H-6 bomber, with 120 units equipped with both nuclear and conventional weaponry. This aircraft is a variant of Russia's Tupolev Tu-16. In addition to their indigenous capabilities, China produces the combat bomber Xi'an JH-7 Flying Leopard, capable of launching nuclear strikes. It's not just homegrown tech either. They have procured the advanced Sukhoi Su-30 from Russia, which can carry tactical nuclear weapons. In fact, they have acquired up to 100 of these aircraft in the MKK and MK-2 variants. Currently, there are reports that China is testing the strategic bombers H-8 and Xi'an H-20, both of which can carry nuclear weapons. In the category of ground attack aircraft, there's the Jian Hong-7, commonly referred to as JH-7. This aircraft is designed for both land and maritime strikes and can carry a variety of ordnance, including bombs, missiles, and cannons, primarily for ground attacks and air support roles. Then there's the Shenyang J-16, a multi-role fighter that can function as a ground attack aircraft, reconnaissance plane, and air defense. It's equipped to carry and operate a wide array of precision weapons for striking ground targets. Following that, 
China have the Chengdu variants J-10B and J-10C. These are also versatile combat aircraft equipped to carry bombs and missiles for ground attacks. Additionally, there's the H-6K, a variant of the Xi'an H-6 which I touched on earlier. This medium-range bomber has the capability to carry and deploy precision weapons for land strikes. Furthermore, there's the JH-7A variant, a modification of the Xi'an JH-7 along with the Shenyang JH-8. These planes are armed with a variety of weapons including bombs, cruise missiles, and air-to-ground missiles, enabling them to execute precise attack operations. In the category of air superiority fighters designed to counter enemy aircraft and dominate the skies, there's the Chengdu J-20. This fifth-generation Chinese fighter jet is designed for various missions, including air combat, reconnaissance, and ground attack. China also have the Xinyang J-16, a modified version of the fighter J-11B with strong multi-role capabilities. These aircraft are equipped with state-of-the-art technology, cutting-edge radar, advanced avionics systems, and weaponry that allows them to counter aerial threats. Not to forget the transport aircraft category, which plays a vital role in transporting personnel, equipment, logistics, and cargo to various locations. These aircraft are essential not only for supporting military operations, but also for humanitarian aid and various other military tasks. The Xi'an Y-20 stands out as a large strategic transport aircraft designed to carry heavy loads, including tanks, troops, or other military equipment. It is the largest military transport aircraft owned by China. Following that, China have the Shanxi Y-9, Y-8, Ilyushin Il-76, the Russian-made Antonov N-26, and the Shanxi KJ-500. These planes have varied capacities in carrying cargo and supporting different types of military operations. China also boasts a lineup of advanced helicopters for transportation, ranging from the Russian-made Mil Mi-8 to the Harbin Z-9, Chang'e Z-8, the French-made Eurocopter as 332 and the Eurocopter EC-225. Next, in the Electronic Warfare Aircraft category, used for electronic reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and aerial surveillance missions, these aircraft come equipped with sophisticated electronic devices and systems, allowing them to detect, monitor, and analyze electronic signals, further bolstering air defense operations. First up is the Shangxi Y-9G, a tactical transport aircraft tailored for reconnaissance and electronic warfare missions. Next, we have the KJ-500, not only can this serve as a transport aircraft, but it also functions as an airborne warning and control system plane. This aircraft excels in aerial surveillance and control, supporting air defense operations. Additionally, it's equipped to coordinate airborne missions. Similarly, the KJ-200 also serves as an AWACS, designed explicitly for providing air surveillance and control during aerial combat. Taking technological prowess up a notch, the KJ-2000 boasts a sophisticated radar system for long-range air surveillance. This aircraft, adapted from the Russian-made Ilyushin Il-76 tactical transport plane, has an impressive range of 9,000 kilometers. Due to its advanced radar capabilities, it's been aptly nicknamed the Dragon's Eye. These aircraft play pivotal roles in bolstering and enhancing the electronic and aerial surveillance capabilities of China's Air Force. They assist in identifying and monitoring air activity and provide crucial intelligence for military decision-making. Beyond these state-of-the-art military aircraft, China has an equally formidable lineup of air defense systems, including surface-to-air missiles designed for air defense and missile defense operations. The Hongqi-9, commonly known as HQ-9, stands out. It's a medium-range surface-to-air missile system capable of countering aircraft, cruise missiles, and other aerial threats. The HQ-9 is a potent ground-based air defense system. This prowess is mirrored in the Hongqi-22, equipped with anti-aircraft and anti-missile capabilities. Other noteworthy systems include the HQ-12, HQ-6, HQ-7, and Russia's S-300 and S-400. These systems vary in their abilities to handle aerial threats and ensure regional security. To counter increasingly complex challenges, China is continually refining and modernizing its surface-to-air missile systems. Furthermore, China boasts an array of anti-aircraft guns designed for aerial defense against aircraft and other airborne targets. China's own LD-2000 is a prime example. This ground-based close-range weapon system gets its name LD from the Mandarin term Lu Dun, 
meaning land shield. It's tailored to counter threats from rockets, artillery, and sea ram mortars, making it an effective short-range air defense system. Then there's the Swiss-made Erlikon GDF, capable of intercepting all aerial threats within a range of 4,000 meters. Lastly, we have the AZP S-60 anti-aircraft cannon designed and produced by the Soviet Union. This automatic gun primarily serves as a close-range air defense against adversary aircraft and helicopters. The AZP S-60 has seen usage across various countries and military conflicts since its introduction in the 1950s. Despite its age, it was notably employed in the Russia versus Ukraine conflict in 2022, proving its enduring relevance.